Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to tackle the challenge of stopping a boring day off as a nurse and we all deserve some excitement and relaxation on our days off. So let's explore some creative and enjoyable activities to make the most of our free time. Actually, it's not a free time. I mean your days off. First, let's plan by making a list of activities that interest you, whether it's exploring a new hobby, catching up on your favorite TV shows. I don't really watch TV shows. Surprisingly, I don't even watch Netflix. I engage more on outdoor activities, adventures simple as walking and um, mini hike, exploring some local restaurants. I'm a foodie, guys, you know, and um, some things that makes you happy and productive. So having a game plan will help you ensure you maximize your days off. So I had worked all weekend the past 16 hours. Yes, 16 hours, guys. And it's hard, but it's doable. Immigrant nurses are really very hardworking, and America is the place for hardworking immigrant people. And nurses, Filipino nurses, works overtime, especially now the need for um, nurses really high um, we do a lot of nurses more here in america and i think it's an issue globally we could discuss on another topic so let's go continue on how we make up for our um days off i know we all have preferences and goals and the good thing about working in healthcare and working as a nurse is the flexibility of schedules and you know thanks god for the strength and the energy that's why it's important to do your um, hobbies self-care so that you will prevent burnout so before we continue what do you love doing on your days off comment below and I would love to know so how do you really prevent a boring day off one option is to indulge in some self-care it doesn't have to be expensive you don't need to go to the gym and um, just give a little time for yourself to be out there in the nature or a simple five, 10 minutes walk. What works for me is a simple 20 minutes walk around the neighborhood or you could also visit a nearby park in your area because it will help you recharge and rejuvenate both physically and mentally after the demands of the nursing work. Other great way to spice up your day off is by exploring your culinary skills try out new recipes and adding new flavors cook filipino loves to cook and loves to eat but today i'm skipping the kitchen i don't want to cook i don't really cook as much my husband does the cooking most of the time because he's a very good chef for me and for for my boys so today we're going to explore jersey city we're going to Filipino restaurants, big shop, and it really gives me excitement on my day off. And I know a Filipino nurses loves exploring restaurants on their day off. It's really a comforting activity for most of us and my friends. And Cheers! And if you watch my first episode of celebrating Philippine Independence Day, I mentioned we're going to visit Filipino local restaurants to support them. So since we celebrated Philippine Independence Day on June tw last June 12, so we're visiting Filipino restaurants today. And if you're a food enthusiast, Jersey City is a foodie destination for Filipino immigrants. So let's dive right in. Jersey City is called the Little Manila and 7% of Jersey City's population is Filipino. It is also the dining destination of immigrant families around New Jersey, including my own, to savor the sense of belonging that is sometimes fleeting in other towns. That's why it's called Jersey City is a Filipino foodie paradise. One of the most visited bake shop is the Philippine Bread House. It's a local favorite, especially for the freshly baked pandesal. So whenever we come by, we make sure we grab at least three to five bags of pandesal, which makes for a perfect breakfast paired with coffee. And guys, we're here at Philippine Bread House. They are 
favorite for bread, pastries, pan de sal, and a lot more. So if you come in Jersey City, make sure to visit Philippine Bread House. Here in Jollibee, Jersey City, who doesn't love Jollibee from its sweet style spaghetti and tasty, creamy, yummy chicken? It's all the place to go for delicious fried chicken. So we're here now at Jollibee. Americans do love our famous chicken joy for several reasons. Number one, because of un its unique flavor, Jollibee Chicken Joy has a distinct flavor that sets it apart from other fast food fried chicken options. The chicken is marinated in a special blend of herbs and spices and the savory sauce that comes with it. Number two, it's crispy and juicy texture. It's one of the highlights of Jollibee Chicken Joy. It's its signature crispy skin and juicy meat. And it's unhealthy though eating the skin, but just be careful. And number three, the food appeal, it's comforting when you eat the Jollibee Chicken Joy. And number four, it's affordable and really it comes in generous portions at an affordable price. This makes it an attractive option for individuals and families looking for value for money meals. And number five, the Filipino-American community connection. Jollibee holds a special place in the hearts of Filipino Americans. We really love Jollibee, all of us, my kids. That's why every time we go home to the Philippines, our first Filipino meal is at Jollibee. It represents a taste of home and a connection to our Filipino heritage. This sense of cultural identity and nostalgia resonates not only with the Filipino American community, but also with Americans who appreciate diverse cuisines and cultural experiences. Okay, we're here at Jollibee. So if you drop by Jersey City, make sure to come by Jollibee. Join us Square Jollibee here in Jersey City. The delicious chicken joy. Thank you for having me. Bye. So don't forget to support your local restaurants and Filipino eateries. They are the heart and soul of our community. Check out your neighborhood family-owned Filipino establishments. And uh, it's one way to connect with our community and contribute to Filipino local businesses. So there you have it, my simple guide for visiting local restaurants in your area and having your favorite dishes or simple as visiting your favorite restaurant, having your comfort food. Like for me, Jollibee is a comfort food for us. And it's the joy of eating your favorite comfort food on your days off. You know, simple joys in life means a lot. Remember, the key is to find activities that brings you joy, relaxation, and taking away from the demands of a regular work, nursing work, mix and match those ideas or course or customize them according to your interests your passion and whatever makes you happy and whatever your preferences are most importantly embrace the opportunity to make the most of your well-deserved time off as a nurse and in the comments below what do you love doing on your days off and tell me how you think this works thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye